So on a beautiful Friday. Gorgeous it is. Beautiful indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is everybody here? Yes. I think they are still coming in, sir. They are still coming in. The numbers are still, you know. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Hi, 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 hi. All right. Whilst waiting for them, please go to the very last exercise. The very last. The very last to test your understanding of everything we have done so far. That is premised on transfers. Exercise two. The very last. Yes, exercise, the last one. The one that has extracts of trust and business balances. Oh, yes, yes. Your bookkeeper. Yes. Yes, that one. Hi, Prof. Hi. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I was trying to get your notes from Zukiso today, but I couldn't get anything. She was not available or something. I, I, I just wanted to check if you I'm shared. I'm sending them tonight. Oh, thank you. In fact, yeah, I'm sending them today. Um, yes, I'm sending them. Thank you. I will not go to bed before you get them. Sir? Yes. Tomorrow's class that's starting at nine is going to come uh, start at nine until what time? Until four. PM. OK. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, the whole day. <laughs> 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 yeah. I saw two the whole o'clock day? off. How? I saw two. Oh, you saw two? Yes. If you saw two, two, then we can make it two. Yes. Four o'clock sounds good. Uh, four o'clock sounds good, eh? Yes. Not at all. Not at no, all. No, no, no. No, no. Understanding. Additional understanding, not only for this uh, exam, but also for admissions. Please, by all means. Oh, okay. Whoa, Unless, guys, no, 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 no. And yeah, next, commitment. technically, yeah. technically, I am done with you except for bank recon. Oh. The the other things are theoretical questions which you can read on your own. Yes. Yeah. So technically, I am I am done with you, or I will be done with you by end of today. And tomorrow we will just be revising. It will just be for you to to let me know which areas still trouble you. After today, I think that will be clear for most of us. Thank you. Conveyancing, conveyancing. It's oh. easy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Prof. Hi, madam. I just wanted to ask you, um, on, our, on our calendar, it says that next week we have a lectures allocated for LPAM revision. Are you, are you by any chance providing that, that revision, those revision sessions, or is it purely for, for, for us to work on our own? Um, uh, time set set for us to work on our own. I just wanted to clarify that. I, I, I don't which have. Which calendar are you using? Because my calendar says next week Saturday is an exam. Mine says it's an exam also. Which one are you no. using? Because I'm confused. Um, the calendar she's talking about is the calendar yeah. that is is on the e leader for all the modules. When you click the yes. month of March, yes. you will see she's that right. they are yeah, yeah that the whole of the next week. Yes, so she's right. Yes. Yeah. So she's not talking so about the I program, think... but the calendar for all the modules until the end of the course. So yes. next week, this module is allocated. So let Prof um clarify it for us so that we we know. 
Isn't it Zugi's also process on, AI? On this, um, on this module, I am finishing with you tomorrow. I do not know if there are um, classes scheduled for next week. Okay. Remember, no, remember when, when you receive your, your manuals, your books, they come with a program uh, on a piece of paper. I am following that program. Yes, we we are I'm aware of that one. Um, but there's also another calendar on the e-leader. Are you done with the last exercise now? Are you done with that exercise? Which exercise are you referring to, Prof? The, the last exercise on our um, schedule of exercises. The last page. Is that not an interesting one? <laughs> I don't think anyone has attempted that one. It's interesting, not so. Like I said, it is premised on on transfers. And remember the two things I said you must do before you transfer. That question, if it comes, carries between 20 and 30 marks. Which one, Pro? Just join now, guys. Good evening. Where are we? Last exercise on our practical exercise. Okay, which one? Uh, convincing one. Yeah, the one that starts with your bookkeeper presents you with the following extract. That's on page eight. The last page. The last page. The last page. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Are you seeing any light? No, sir. Serious? Are you sure? I, I can, I can. 
I can only tell that these are balances, but I'm trying to work it out. It's... Read the instructions down there. What do the instructions require you to do? That you must indicate the transferable amount from trust to business and vice versa. Yes. Show, balance, show balances after transfer. Draw journal involved and draw cash books involved. Yes. Do you want feedback from us on how we how we're looking at this and what we should be doing? Um, yes. So just can I start or not? You may. So if we look at the trust balances, there's only one in credit. Now there should we should actually they should all be in credit. Not so. Am I correct in that? Is when you look at the balances. So if I look at Poppy, Poppy's got yes. a, a debit balance of 5,000 Rand. Now, um, if you've got a trust, if you are a creditor in the trust, you should actually have a credit balance in your trust account, not a debit balance. So that should not be there. So, um, you know, my understanding is that I would say, OK, we've got to transfer that out to the business balance. But the business balance, yeah, the business. So it, it, it doesn't look too healthy, this, what I'm looking at. Am I right? Doesn't Poppy have a positive balance? It looks like it's uh, David with a negative balance. And he doesn't have enough in business to cover that deficit. But well, the way I read this, if I was in an exam, if it's got brackets, it's it it it's de it's determined as a credit balance. So brackets determines credit. So if you are a creditor, if you have got money in trust accounts, you actually yeah. a creditor, and the balance should be a credit balance. But we've got one, two, three, four debit balances in the trust balance, which is and we've got well, Zizi's got twenty thousand as a credit balance in the business balance, which could swing to the trust. But the the rest of them, um, there's, there's a, for me, I'm looking, it looks like there's a bit of a problem here, but maybe I'm wrong. So long, David. It's my interpretation of what I'm looking at. Prof, maybe you can clear it out for us, but as far as I know, the bracket one is a deficit. I agree. Yeah. It's negative. David is only on, on negative. He's the only one who's... Why don't you deal negative. with them one by one? Yeah, yeah we Start can. Start with four. Be there. Deal with them one by one as they appear in their chronological order following instructions one to four. I think we, we're still um, not 100% sure whether the 5,000 in the trust balance represents um, the fact that there's money in the trust or whether it's in a deficit. Can I give you a try, Prof? All right. Um, by way of guiding, I said this is premised on transfers. When we dealt with transfers, we said that there are two things you must do before you transfer. Firstly, you must determine what is due to you. And you determine what is due to you by going to the relevant account in business and balance it. After doing this, you then check if what is due to you is available 
in the trust account. And you will do this by going to the relevant account in trust to determine if there are funds there. Once you are satisfied that there are available funds in trust, you can proceed with a transfer. In this extract, that function was performed for you. Your bookkeeper has done this for you. The exercise reads, your bookkeeper presents you with the following extract of private or client trust and business balances at the end of the month. Client or private trust balance, business balance. For peace trust balance is 5,000, business balance is 10,000. Cyril's trust balance is 10,000, and business balance is nil. David's trust balance is 10,000 overdrawn, whilst the business balance is 5,000. Becky's trust balance is 4,000, and the business balance is 2,300. ZZ Books CC has no balance in trust. And in business, the balance is 20,000 overdrawn. Now, the instruction says to you, you are required to, one, indicate transferable amounts from trust to business and vice versa. Two, show balances after transfer. Three, draw journal involved. And four, draw cash books involved. After having done legal practitioners accounts management from Monday to last night, you should interpret this extract in the following way. Kopi has 5,000 in your trust account, but owes you 10,000. Remember, before we transfer, what do we do? We determine how much is due to us and check if there are sufficient funds in the trust account to cover what is due to us. In Bobby's case, what is due to us is 10,000. And Bobby has 5,000 in the trust account. Number one requires us to indicate how much to transfer from the trust account to the business account. In Bobby's situation, how much is transferable from trust to business? 5,000. Do you now understand it? Do you see that it is a giveaway? Yes. Right. So, in other words, Bobby owes you more than 
what she has in the trust account. And because of that, you will not transfer the whole amount that Bobby owes you. Instead, you will transfer what is available. And what is available? 5,000. 5, what is available is 5,000. So that is what you will transfer. On Cyril's matter, how will you deal with Cyril's matter? Because you know with POP, what is transferable is 5,000 because that is what POP has in Cyril. trust. With Cyril, we're not transferring anything because Cyril does not owe us anything. So Cyril has funds in trust, but does not owe us in business. So we will not transfer anything. We will not transfer anything. How do you record that? No, we don't. You don't. In well, an exam situation, like I think, well, in it's terms fine. Of record, I think we, we will record. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking so as well. I, I think, uh, Prof, uh, just to interject you, sorry. Uh, we, we just have to uh, debit 10,000 on the uh, trust cash book, and then we will credit it on service account in trust. Yeah. Okay. Fine, this is what we will do. This is what we will do. If you get a question like this, what you simply do is Number one, this is the first question. One, transferable amount. Right. On Poppy, 5,000 from trust to business. Do you follow? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. From Cyril. How much? Cyril. How much on Cyril? Not so. Cyril has 10,000, but does not owe us in business. You follow? Yes, yes we're following, sir. Yes. And then David. Four thousand from business to trust. How much? Five thousand from the business to the trust. You try and correct. Why? What is that? You try and correct the negative. At at check. I think because the no, Cyril's. I think, Cyril's, I think I it's think nothing. Trust has been overdrawn. Yeah, it's there's overdrawn. nothing on the trust, so, so we you can't must correct it. it. 
Yes. Yeah. And he owes us 5,000. He owes us 5,000. So you transfer the 5,000. But that's the 5,000. business to trust the land. He owes us 5,000. He owes us 5,000. But there's nothing in the trust. Not trust, not not what you not can say, there's nothing in the overdrawn. Because you can't David's, get it. Account, David's account is in deficit, so we must pop out the money from our mm. pocket. Uh, oh, yeah. We need to move 10,000 from business to trust. You will still be in deficit. Right. We need to correct. Let us not see one person to. Right. We need to move ten thousand. On David, oh. yeah. David's account oh. has a deficit. Yeah, and the other things are fine. That is checking it now. At last, my answer now. David's account. Please mute. Please oh. mute, guys. You have to mute. Yeah, it's a little. Matebula, please mute, sir. David's account is in a deficit. Do you follow? Of 10,000? Yes. Yes. And we said that when they say deficit, you need to report to the LPC. and thereafter transfer funds from your business account to the trust account to close that deficit. Not so. Yes. So in this case, it will be 10,000 from business to trust. It will be 10,000 from business to trust to close the deficit. Do you follow? Yes. Remember uh, that. Maybe just one question. Remember that the instruction says we should indicate transferable amounts from trust to business and vice versa. So this is the vice versa part. This is the vice versa part. So do we agree that on David, it will be 10,000 from business to trust? Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Becky. How much on Becky? 2,300. 2,300. Right. So Becky has 4,000 in trust, but owes us only 2,300. So we will transfer only what is due to us. 2,300. From where to where? From trust to business. Trust to business. From trust to business. Z Z books C C. What is the position here? Not gonna transfer anything. We've got twenty thousand owing owing Z Z. We owe Z Z twenty thousand. So how much is transferable from trust to business or from business to trust? 20,000. We've got nothing to transfer. Uh, this account is also in deficit because she's owing us 20,000. Mm -mm. We owe you. No. We can't how trust. We owe you 20,000. Why is it in brackets? It's overdraft. It's a credit. It, it's overdrawn, do you see? Yes. It's overdrawn. 
Transfer. So it means we don't your, owe anything. On it text. means your business account yeah. owes ZZ books CC. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, say, may I ask brackets means negative overdraft. or overdraft? Yes. Oh, okay, my mistake. Thank you. Right. Uh, so can I just take something before we move on? Uh, yes. On Becky, please. Yeah, yes. I, my understanding was that um, uh, be, uh, the money that we have uh, uh, on Bake is uh, from our trust cash book uh, on Bake, it's um, 4,000, but then on the balance, it's from the from the business books, it's 2.5. So I was no, thinking that if we are... 2.3, sir? Yes, 2.3, sorry. Yes, 2.3. Then I was thinking that if we are to transfer, it should be 1.7 and not 2.3. Emma, and I see you have written 2.3. Why 1.7? That's what will be left uh, in Becky's what, trust account. Yes, isn't it that... Why, um, why do you say we must transfer 1.7 according to you, sir? Because we already have um, uh, two point three. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's correctly interpret the extract. Yeah. Okay. According to this extract, your client Becky has four thousand rand in your trust account. But he owes you two thousand three hundred. Remember that your client cannot have money in your in your business account. Business. business account deals with your money, money belonging to your practice, not your client's money. Client's money is in trust. So your client owes you two thousand three hundred. And he has 4,000 in the trust account. Okay. So do you yeah, say... Yeah, no, I think... I, I think uh, no, I'm, I'm following what you're saying. I'm, I think I'm, I'm getting it right now. Okay. So you must transfer what is due to you if it is available. Okay, all right. Not at this Right. Time. Prof. I'm saying, yes. Can you please continue finishing your explanation before he said he now understands you were still busy uh, explaining? Yes. Can, yes, can... Manan. Yeah, Prof. please, may yeah. you may you finish the explanation, please. Prof. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> can I get the ex explanation from why do we, we not transfer anything from O to ZZ? Books. Yes, right. L let me explain that. ZZ is actually not your client. When you look at the heading up there, what does it say? Your bookkeeper presents you with the following extract of private client trust and uh -huh. business balance of at what? the end of the month. Client. Of what? Of private client. Emphasize that. Add emphasis on that. Private or client. Client. And trust. Do, do you understand? Do you get it? No, sir. No, no. Don't get it, sir. Yes. Didn't get, I didn't get, get it from the I didn't get from the ask you, but, uh, This is not our client, it's private. It's a right. the... So this one, you may be, 
you may be a client to them. You may be a customer to them. They may be your service provider. They may be providing you with services on credit. Do you follow? Yes. Yes, sir. They may have rendered services for you on credit or they may have supplied you with items on credit. Mr. They may have supplied you with stationery and you haven't paid them. So you owe them. You've recorded these in your books. And because of that, you will owe them and you will not make a transfer between the trust and business accounts. So this is why on the transferable amount, you will have nil. Do you follow? I, I, I think, sir, if I can just, um, just yes. say something is if you can look at Zizi books, there is, could be a supplier. Uh, so that's a trade creditor or a trade supplier. Is that right? So this is just a whole batch of figures that your book a bookkeeper's given you that we've got to filter through and sort out. Am I correct? Right. So you transfer nothing because there is simply nothing to transfer from trust to business or from business to trust. You instead owe this ZZ Books CC. So if there were to be any transfer, it would be from the business account to them. But what does the instruction require here? It requires you to indicate transferable amounts from trust to business or from business to trust, not outside. Can we go to number two? Yes. Before, before, before we go to number two, sir, um, I just wanted to ask, is there um, a particular identifying mark that we can be certain that a certain person or a certain entity is a business and not a, a client? Because my, my concern is if it so happens that your client in some case happens to be a business, uh, how are you to know then that in in any particular scenario that this is not a client? It's it, it's in fact a, a a a business that you owe or that has provided some sort of service to you. The the recordings should assist. Yes. Look at the look at the other clients who owe you. What do you see there? Yeah, there are no brackets. You see. But this one has brackets. Their case becomes special. It becomes distinguished from the others. Oh, oh, OK, so um, just, just to clarify, so whenever we see those brackets, that means business. That means not no, no, It depends where. Where do you see the brackets? Yes, in, trust in, in, or in business, business. In business, sir. In the, you see the brackets in business, it means it means it may not necessarily be a business. This one, we say it's a business because it's a CC. But it, what you need to understand simply is that if there's an amount overdrawn in business, your business account owes that person. Got it. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. On two, so what are we before, dealing with? So before you jump, sir, okay. in this case, it means ZZ Book CC gave yes. us a service or we gave them a service. No, no, not vice versa. We Did owe we? them. 
they either gave us a service or supplied us with things. It with may be books. books. They supplied us with books. Yes. And we they are a service pay, provider. We did they not are pay a them. service provider. Yes. We can assume that they are a, a service provider. Hmm. Okay, uh, Prof. Yes. As we quickly move to number two, um, please allow me to quickly take you uh, back to David. Yes. Um, David. David, yes. Oh, David. David, David yes. David. David, uh, yes. yes. Um, yeah. My understanding is that we should be, uh, I mean, we should be confining ourselves with the question before us. Yes. And uh, with the understanding that the principle do suggest that whenever there is a, a deficit in your trust account, you urgently yes. have to remedy that. Yes. However, the information before before me uh, yes. depicts that we only have 5,000 rand. Where? Uh, in, um, in our business account in relation to David. No. 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 David owes you 5,000. Oh. Remember, 5, remember Tatana. Remember oh. Tatana. I've said oh. earlier, your oh. client can never have money in your business. Indeed, yes. Your client can never. Oh, I, I, your, I get you. Your get client you. should never you. have money in business. Instead, your client should owe you in business. Okay, no, you can see that. Can ma'am. Um, so can I ask a question? Yes, please. Um, regarding David, yes. uh, his, account, his account in trust is in overdraft. But yes. you always said we have to check first before we before we um let's say before we take money out of the trust and pay ourselves that there is enough money in the trust account. Yes. How that come that debit is in over, overdraft? It means you failed to check. OK. You so failed to check. You've been negligent. OK, thank you. And now it is costing you. Okay. You see, thank now you. it costs you 10,000 to, to deal with this negligence. Okay, thank you, sir. So, can I just please uh, ask a question in relation to Zizi? Uh, yeah. I was following what you were saying. Uh, you were saying that when how I analyzed what you were saying, you were saying that Zizi is not part of, is not within our the category of people that we should be uh, interacting with because he is outside. But at the same time, I also just want to check because I, I see no, you but say... I, I don't uh, agree with that analysis. Mm. As an attorney, you are not uh, you are not an island. You need others. Yes. yes. Mm. You buy things. You get services from somewhere. So you can't say you do not interact with them. Maybe find another concept to use. You'll buy furniture. I, uh, You'll buy uh, computers. Uh, You'll buy stationery. You need them. Okay. Do you follow? No, thanks. No, I, I, uh, I understand. Uh, I'm not following. I do understand. Sure. So. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, so as an attorney, if say a bookkeeper brings an extract like this, will I be wrong to tell the bookkeeper that if I'm a client to someone, they must not put a nil there, they must leave it blank because this person, uh, they don't have a trust account with me. So now if they put a dash like this, a nil, then it seems like it's zero in trust. So they must leave it blank. Yes, it's zero. Zero and blank, how do they differ? 
blank the, the, there won't be a thing there to show that there's no account. But if it's zero, it's like it's uh, it's yeah, zero, but the like effect is the same. Zero. The effect is the same. I think you would be worried if there was a figure which is overdrawn there. But a nil cannot worry you. It's zero. Blank also is equal to zero. Not so. But also, we will we will give it to you like this to check if you understand. Mm -mm. To check if you know your story. <laughs> Can we move to number two? Um, yes, I just want to ask a question in Thanks, relation to David. In relation to? David. Yes. David in business. Five thousand business. <laughs> is it the amount that the David is owing to yes. the business? Yes. Your client can never have money in business. So when there is an amount next to your client's name, you must know that your client owes you that money, unless it is in brackets. When it is in brackets, then you know your business owes that particular person. Otherwise, that person owes your business account or owes you. Okay, the bracket as well that is in, in, in uh, David in trust means that he is actually in overdraft. It's overdraft in trust and it's a deficit that you do not need. So you need to immediately remedy it. You need to urgently work on it. Transfer from business to trust. So, Prof. In all in all, he will be owing us 15,000 thereafter. Yes. Uh, we are coming uh, to number two. Uh, prof. Balances are dealt with at number two, but yes. Uh, prof, I'm okay. just saying uh, to the guys, they must, on David's side, they must just ignore that 5,000. That 5,000 has nothing to do with David. It's a business money. But no. David is on overdraft. He's owing us 10,000. So those are two different figures. No. Yes, but also it may be dangerous to ignore it because when you ignore it, you'll also ignore the fact that actually that money is due to you. Yes, we shouldn't ignore it. They must just not think that client will have money in business. That money is due to us. They owe us. Client owes us that money. All right. Let's deal with balances now. Trust balance in respect of Poppy? 5,000 in brackets. Why? He transferred, he owed us 10,000, so we transferred 5,000, so he still owes us 5,000. No, let's talk about trust mm. balance. If you yeah. have 5,000, <laughs> if, if, if you have yeah. 5,000 and I take yeah. the 5,000 from you, are you left with some 5,000 in brackets? No. You are still no. us 10,000. You still owe us 5,000. Let's talk about trust. Let's talk about no, trust. Zero. 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 Yes. Right. Zero. Zero. Yeah, nil. And write zero or nil. It's fine. You get a mark for writing this. And then business balance? 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. Yes. Oh, you still owes us that 5,000. Yes. Several 10,000. 10,000? Mm hmm. And none. So with Cyril, nothing changes. Yes. David? David owes us now we put in 10,000, he was owing 5,000. Mm -hmm. So the balance is 10,000 in David. Good. In trust, 10,000. No. Mm -hmm. What is the trust balance? Yeah. 
10,000. We deposited 10,000. No, no. Zero. 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 We transferred 10,000. We transferred 10,000. No, it's 15,000. David, it will be 15,000. Yes. Oh yeah, nil and fifteen thousand this side. Yes, correct. Yes, Becky. One thousand seven hundred. One thousand seven hundred. Can you please move your screen up? One thousand. Seven hundred in trust and in business. Two thousand three hundred. Yeah. It doesn't owe us. No. It doesn't owe us. Zero. No. No. It's zero. Zizi books. Zizi books. Nothing. Zero. No. 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 We owe them. No. 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 On in brackets twenty thousand. No null. Brackets twenty thousand. Nothing we happened in Facebook. Nothing happened. Face the same. Negative twenty thousand. And what is the journal involved? What are all of them? Transfer the journal. Yes. From where to where? Okay, from trust to business. From trust to business and vice versa. Yes. Yes. So we'll have Poppy. 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 Yes, Poppy. In trust. trust, Poppy, and business. Yes. How much did we transfer? Five thousand. Remember. Yes. Yes. Five thousand. We debit Poppy in trust with five thousand, and credit Poppy in business with five thousand. Yeah. And the next one. Sure. David, eh? We have. David, from where to where? From um, business, business to trust. Business we debit trust. David in business and credit David in trust. 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 With how much? 10,000. 10,000. 10,000. 10,000 that we actually paid. And lastly, we have Becky. Becky, from where to where? From from trust to business. From trust to business. From trust to business with Becky. How much? One thousand three hundred. One thousand three hundred. I was transferred. And our narration will be. Will our narration be. We will create a transfer causes. Uh, fees. Transfer costs. This is our narration. Fees. Transfer balance of account. Transfer from trust to business and vice versa. And which cash books are involved here? 
trust them best cash. with cash books. Which ones? Trust this. Trust, trust and in business. Trust cash book and business cash book. Yes. Trust cash book and business cash book. How do we record on the trust cash book and on the business cash book? Open with habit. Trust cash book 5000. Is this before or after? How do we record? And credit to the business. Copy. OP, we credit, we debit, debit trust, to the trust, trust cash book, and, and credit. credit business. Trust. Yes. Right, so we will credit the trust cash trust book business. and say transfer to business cash book. The amount is 5,000. And then we debit the business cash book and say X trust cash book. <laughs> and then next, David, not so. Mm. From where to where do we take on David? From from, from business, business to trust. David, you've got to take from the business to the trust. From the business to the trust. What do to we say? Make up the deficit. Trust David. Correction of deficit. Yes. Ex business cash book. And the last transaction is Becky, 2300 from trust to business. Okay. Two thousand three hundred, and then we go to the business cash book, and we say X trust cash book. X trust cash book. Two point three. Two thousand three hundred, and please write your figures the way we write them in class. In your exams, please do not write 2K, 2.3K, 10K, 100K. We don't know that language. We don't understand that language. 1M for 1 million. 1,2M. We don't know those languages. We don't know those figures. We don't understand them. So please <laughs> record it the way that we are recording in class. Record the way we are recording in class, even if it may be nice to say 1K, 2K, 
3,4K. Um, sorry, Prof. Will it be a problem if we add R for rent? It's not a problem, but it is unnecessary. Uh, okay. sir, may, may I ask, just uh, some of us are very slow when we write. Uh, let's take an example where you say trust to business cash book. You have the same statement uh, below, trust to business cash book. You know, when you normally write, you'll write those two dashes facing up for each and every word. Can we do that? No, don't. Mm -mm. Do the same. You see, what we are doing here is what we expect you to do. Please do not be innovative. Do the same way that we, we are doing. And um, the trust cash book also, write it in full, trust cash book, not TCB, not BCB. If you so want to refer cuts. to a business cash book, let it be business cash book in full. The same way we are doing here. Uh, question, Prof. Uh, yes. Sir, uh, sir, this activity, how many marks in the exam? It's simple, this one. I, I said to you that this activity carries between 20 and 30 marks. This one what? specifically can give you 30. Okay. Because here you already have five. With number one, you already have five. With number two, you've got 10. You see? Number two gives you 10. And then 10 plus five, you've got 15 on one and two. Yeah, it, it, uh, the marks are fair as uh, compared to the convincing marks that you gave us yesterday. They are fair everywhere, Tatan. Yes. Um, so, Prof, can I get to my question, please? Yes, sir. Yes, I, I wanted to ask, sir. I'm, I'm a bit confused. Um, with the transfer journal, um, yes. I wanted to find out, is there a particular reason why we did not have um, uh, books, uh, tr uh, trust cash books or business cash books for the particular um, clients. Uh, we just went directly to um, the trust cash book and the uh, business business cash book. Is, is, is there a reason why we aren't um, now also speaking to Poppy's trust and, and, and uh, Poppy's business, uh, uh, Poppy in business rather? Go back to the question, sir. Number one, what does it say? Please read number one. What does it say? I will read now as soon as I can find it. Uh, uh, indicate transferable amount from trust to business and vice versa. Indicate. Indicate. Not so. Yes, sir. Right. Go to two. Show balances after transfer. Show balances after transfer. Number three. Draw journal involved. Draw what? Journal involved. Okay. Uh, draw journal involved, sir. Number four. Draw cash books involved. What? Draw what? Cash books involved. Yes. Okay. What is your understanding of this? No, I, I, I see. I'm, I, I just didn't... Uh, I, I get. I guess I understand it from here. Yeah, just it, it just didn't make sense why we are bypassing it now. But I see the instructions, sir. So always read instructions. It's very important. Your instructions are very important. Always read them. And have you realized that many of the questions you have, I always send you back to the instructions. Have you realized it? That's correct. Yes. Yes, Prof. So it's important so to read, analyze, and understand the instruction. If you get the instruction yes, no, yes. right, 
you are gone. You get the principle right, you get the instruction right, you are gone. You'd have no problems. All right, can I conclude that we have an understanding of this and that this in fact is a giveaway? Yes. If a person like this comes in the exam, you know it's a giveaway. Can we have two of these questions in the exam? Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's a giveaway. <laughs> it's, a, it's a giveaway. Uh, yeah, please give us one. Please. Please. I will. <laughs> can we can we have um, it in our board exams for a tennis admission? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe keep them like this for the next one. Well, I would say it's a giveaway now that we have explained it. But before you explained it, it yeah. never looked like a giveaway. But it's, now it never looked like a giveaway. <laughs> and let's exactly. send you mm -hmm. this right. Uh, prof, can you please, uh, Prof? Yes. Yes. I just want to take uh, a snapshot of the, the cash books. Please, if you can uh, share your screen there. Okay. Actually, going to be provided with these notes as you promised the uh, prof yesterday that you are uh -huh. going to put them to order. Yesterday, you promised that you are going to put them since Monday, the notes, uh, 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 the questions and, and answers. Then you you will provide it to us. Yeah, you joined us today. late, sir. We resolved said that. You sent tonight. You Have you joined quality. us late, sir? We resolved that matter. That, that matter has become res judicata. Prof, I just want to verify something here. Uh, yeah. On, uh, on David and Zizi's book, CC. Yeah. Just on David, he's yeah. on deficit, right? Yeah. In brackets. Yes. And we've... Uh, transferred 10,000 from business to trust. Yes. Rectify that. Yes. And then on ZZ, uh, that dash can be an indication that ZZ is not our client. The dash, I'm starting with the, the dash. The dash simply means nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. I understand that there's nothing. But at the bracket day, he owes, we owe ZZ 20,000. Yes. And the never run. And what? It, it has twenty thousand. Why can't we pay? Why can't we do the same as what you call David? We have no pressure. Remember, these we accounts are different, Katan. <laughs> the one is in trust. The other is in business. In business. The one in trust. We are under pressure because the law says we must do something. The rules we say we it. must do something. Oh, it's a so. Okay. Yes. But with business, remember the LPC is not interested in our business account. It's interested in trust. We can owe anyone. We can owe anyone in business. There's no problem. But not in trust. That's one of the reasons why we did not. Okay, I understand. It's okay. Okay. Pro professor. So well. Professor. Okay. Prof. Yes, sir. Yes, I just want to know the OP with the try after the transfer. Why is it now five thousand at other side? Because OP was having that that was ten thousand. Yes. That's the question. I said I said that. Your client can never have money in your business account. Do you remember this? Yeah. Your client can never have money in your business account. Instead, your client can owe you in business. When you see an amount 
next to your client's name in business and that amount is not in brackets it means your client owes you that money so this specific client never had money in our business account instead he was owing us 10000 and in the trust account he only had 5000 so we transferred 5000 from the trust account to the business account to reduce his debt in business so now the balance in business is no longer 10000 it is now 5000 because he paid us 5000 he reduced his debt by 5000 so the balance will be 5,000. So it means he remains owing us 5,000 now. He remains owing us 5,000. Okay. No, I understand now, but because, so it means this trust balance and business balance is for poor people, not for us. Yes, remember they say, there's a name there. There's a reason we wrote names there. There's a reason we have David. There's a reason we have Becky. There's a reason we have Zizi. There's a reason we have Paul B. Do you follow? <coughs> Prof, can I perhaps ask a question? Yes. Thank you, Tatana. If you, if Zizi books, CC had a balance of, for instance, 10,000 rand or 10,000, which under trust balances. Will it be in proper trust. that in trust, in trust, yes. ZZ, yes. Will it be then proper to transfer that and offset it? No, it won't, because it will increase your liability. Thank you very much, Prof. Okay, you are, you are saying if Zizi had something in in trust in trust in trust, yes, yes, you know what that would mean. Yes, it will increase our liability. <clears throat> For me, it's our client. Now let's it let's work it out like this. Let's work it out like this for the benefit of everyone else. Ne? Let's say uh, we have it like this, private client, trust balance, business balance. Let's say we had something like this. And we have a client here or a name here called Limene Man. And there is 10,000 here. And in business, there is 5,000. Overdrawn. Okay. Okay. Do you yes. see? Yes. Is this the situation you are demonstrating? Is the situation I'm demonstrating, yes. Right. It would not change the fact that we owe Le Mene Mene 5,000. Yes, mm. yes. It would not change that. We still owe Le Mene Mene how much? 5,000 because it is overdrawn or it is in brackets in business. Yes. Our yes. business yes. account owes the man. Yes. I get it. But now, I get it. I get it. Yes. <laughs> but now, <laughs> but now, this changes the situation a bit it makes the situation a little different from Zizi's. How does it make it different? It makes it different because 
Limene Mene has funds in our trust account. And once Limene Mene has funds in our trust account, what does this position make Limene Mene in relation to us? Our client. He's a client. Our client. Do you see that the position changes now? Yes, sir. So it means Limene Mene has funds in trust and we also owe him in, in business. So we owe mm -hmm. Limene Mene both in trust and in business. And because, because... How can how business owe a client on what basis you overpaid. would that be? You overpaid. You made an overpayment from trust to business. You needed to transfer 15,000 from trust to business and instead you transferred 20,000. So you transferred in excess. Do you follow? There could be a number of yes. reasons. Firstly, it could be an overpayment. Secondly, it could be that he confused the accounts. Okay. He made a deposit into the business account instead of the trust account. <laughs> but then the important, the important question becomes, the important question becomes, what do you do under these circumstances? How do you deal with this situation? How do you deal with it? Do you deal with it the same way as you dealt with Zizi? No. No. How do you deal with it? This is our client now. You return the place to the, the trust account immediately. You do what? I'm saying you have to return the money to trust account. No. Excellent. So there will now be a transfer from where to where? From business to trust business to trust from business to trust is it is this not interesting it's it interesting is. sir it's okay. actually confusing sir no it's interesting yeah, if, you go the principle. if you have the principal right i think it's interesting it's really confusing interesting confusing confusing, it's confusing. Well, what is confusing manan What is confusing, Manan? There's nothing confusing. From business to Let's hear the confusion, Manan. I am also confused. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's money it's in, it's in business without the service confused. being rendered. So, and because a client's money cannot be found in business without any service being rendered, it must be returned. The error must be exactly. rectified immediately. It must go back because it is there by mistake. It must go back immediately. It's not your money. It's not supposed to be in business. Holding say, uh, in, in this remaining case, how much do I transfer? Five thousand. How much do we transfer? Okay. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Yes. Five thousand from the business 5, balance back to the from trust the balance. Account, back to the to trust. The, back account. to the trust balance. Yes. Yes. And which book will you use under these circumstances? That, that five thousand is not supposed to be there in the business um, account. You make use of the transfer journal. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, sir, mm -hmm. the previous uh, colleague of us asked if there are brackets on the business balance. Will that indicate if that is a business or a client? I think he was avoiding such things. When there are what? No, but I answered that question, Tatan. I said, what you need to understand is that when there are brackets, in business, it means you owe that person, regardless of whether it is an entity in the form of a business 
or a natural person. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you owe that entity. Thank you. Your Same business principle account is, or your business you. owes Thank that you. entity. Same principle so is in the books. Yes, when but it will, be, it, it will be wrong for us to say when there are brackets, it means it's a business. No. 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 It can be a client. It can be a client. It can be a natural person. And then if, and then Hello, if it's a client, you have to, if it's a client, then you have to return back the money to the trust account. To the trust account. To the trust account, yes. Because that, that, that um, amount is not supposed to be in the business. It's supposed to be in the trust. Exactly. An error, exactly. It means that an error, an error was made um, by sending money to the business balance from the trust yes. account. And then now you have to rectify that error by taking back the amount which is in brackets um, yeah. to the trust um, account of the client. Yes. Almost, and almost no, like the one. Almost no, like the one point four million that was paid to a student. And as an attorney, yeah, okay, and as, prof, as, as an attorney, prof, prof, you prof, are a human being. You can make mistakes. Can we give each other a chance? Where is there, yeah. where there's a human being, there's room for error. Yeah. Hello, prof. Yes. Even the bank itself sometimes makes mistakes, and you will see when we do a bank record, they make sorry. mistakes. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Uh, yes. uh, aren't we saying aren't we saying the amounts that are in brackets are are the ones like in this in the case of Lemene Mene, this five thousand is not the aren't we saying that is the money that is owed by the firm to Lemene Mene? Yes, which, that is what we say. Yeah, in, which means in the in the business there is no five thousand. No, there is. There is it's not about what the amount that the business that? has. What, what it means, means is, is the money that you, you owe to the client. You owe the client. Yes, it's not it's there. the balance of the it's business. It's not the one how much the... money the business has. Then you, can you keep, yes, it doesn't mean that. Prof, doesn't mean that prof, it's not about prof, the... a chance, a chance okay. to answer, please. Thank you. Okay, I, I would I would suggest that you you do not complicate it for yourself. Don't go deeper than necessary. You'll end up complicating yourself unnecessarily. I, I think I'm getting it, uh, Prof. We can continue. Yes. Once you see uh, it in, what in brackets bracket and is... in business, it means your business owes. Yes, somebody wanted to say something? So to interject. Yeah, and I want to ask the budget is in in trust. Uh, uh, prof, in this case, yes. okay. remember with CZ. With yes. CZ was not our client. We said there is no pressure, right? Yes. In this case, we have a pressure because it's uh, client. is our client. Yes. And I've asked further, I said the dash does it indicate something there? At the bottom regarding the ZZ meta, ZZ CC book. Does it? Yeah, but we said with ZZ, there's nothing. But there's nothing. The means nothing. nothing. We said there's I nothing. In I understand that. But does it support that ZZ is not our what do you call our client? Yes, he has nothing. He, he shouldn't even have anything. Well, there shouldn't be even a trust for ZZ. Yes. Yes, I'm clarified. So, but because uh, when this extract was brought to you, it combined everything, mm. private and client. Mm, that's where the confusion was. It's okay. So we'd, we so we'd say in this case, this is private, meaning that yeah, um, the, the, the 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 business does the business of this was only rendering a service. So you owe the, the business of of CZ. Yes. So, Am I correct? Prof, yes. So we so, can't transfer anything between our own accounts. So, so prof, because now this is, we only open um, trust balance trust accounts for our clients. This is not a client in this case. This is yes. just a service provider. 
Yes. So you owe the service provider. Now you have to pay the service provider. Yeah. And in this case, you will not transfer anything from business to, to trust because you yes. don't have, even have a trust account for Zizi. Yes. If I put it like that. Yes. Sorry, Prof. So because Zizi remember, number one requires what? Transferable amounts from trust to business and vice versa. So can this be same as even the service like Prof. instructing attaining to can also be like that, Prof? Prof. Yes. Suppose ZZ does not have brackets in that yes. case. If ZZ did not have brackets, if ZZ was like this, it would mean ZZ owes us. Then it's outlined then. It would mean ZZ owes us and ZZ does not have anything in trust. In trust. We still would not transfer anything. That's super Prof, the brackets on, on the business side, they mean that you owe that particular person. Yes. We have to pay that person, whether it's we a client or it's a private uh, person. Exactly. You exactly. Whether client or private, it. you owe. What the bracket is on uh, trust? If the bracket is on trust, we deal with it the same way we dealt with David. Okay, that means that the 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 district is in, uh, in deficit. I mean, it's um, it's overdrawn. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Let us um, come back at quarter past seven. When we come back, please let us do bank reconciliation statements and supplementary cash books. And for yes, these, yes. yes. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Bank reconciliation statements and supplementary cash book. And um, the exercises we will deal with are on pages 48 and 46 48 is a favorable balance and 46 is an unfavorable balance we will not start with 46 we will start with 48 i want us to start with a favorable balance so that it can be easier for you to understand an overdrawn balance all right pages 46 and 48 of your manual Bank reconciliation statements and supplementary cash books. We can break for now. Thank you, Prof. You are welcome. What time are we coming back? What are parts? Yes.
Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Yes, how are you? Fine, how are you? I'm good, man. Uh, I just want someone who can assist me. I'm trying to use the mic in my in my laptop because it is uh, deactivated. So how, how to activate it? Uh, well, it's activated now because are you t are talking about the mic on this platform? Yes. It's activated because obviously I can hear you and you can hear me. No, the one that I'm talking to you at is, is the one in my smartphone. Oh, <laughs> I think you have to sign out of the meeting and sign back in. Try that. Oh, OK. No, let me try that. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, boss. Thanks. Simple accounting. Tough. Why are you laughing at me now? Saying obviously, I can hear you. Ah. Yeah, man, these things, you know, most these things. Hey. It's difficult, man. Hey. You sound like bunches. <laughs> 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 hey.
Right, let us uh, proceed. Are we all back? Hi, we. Uh, me voy a ir. Yeah, I will. Right. Right, let us uh, proceed. Let us proceed to deal with bank reconciliation statements and supplementary cash books. Right, let's deal with <laughs> I, uh, so somebody was googling res judicata here. <laughs> right. Let's deal with bank reconciliation statements and supplementary cash books. You are required as an attorney to ensure that your books of account are accurate. So you need a certain level of certainty when you deal with your accounting books. Because the accounts you are running or operating are check accounts, you will receive bank statements on a monthly basis from the bank. You will receive a bank statement in respect of your trust account, and in respect of your business account. You will need to compare the bank statements with your cash books. When we started on Monday, I said that your cash book represents your account at the bank. In fact, I said, your business cash book represents your business account. Your trust cash book represents your trust account. I also said that every financial transaction that takes place must be recorded. Every financial transaction that takes place must be recorded. When money comes in, it must be recorded. When money goes out, it must be recorded. At the end of every month, when you receive a bank statement, you need to compare the bank statement with the cash book. Check if there are similarities or differences. If you find that, 
the content of the cash book and the balances are exactly the same as the contents and balances of the bank statements. You do not need to do anything because they are the same. But when you notice that there are differences between the bank statement and the cash book, you need to reconcile the two. You need to investigate the reason causing the difference or differences. Reconcile the two. At the end, you need to have the same balance for both the bank statement and the cash book. You need to have the same balance for the cash book and for the bank statement. So you will reconcile by preparing two things. One, supplementary cash book and bank reconciliation statement. Supplementary cash book and bank reconciliation statement. Supplementary cash book is simply an extension of the cash book for the month, whilst the bank reconciliation statement is an extension of the bank statement. Maybe let me do this. Let me share this with you so you see my workings. Right. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yep. Yes. Yes, bro. Thank yes, sir. You. Right. So once you notice that there are differences between the bank statement and the cash book, you need to do two things. And what are those two things? The bank reconciliation statement and the supplementary cash book. So you have the supplementary cash book 
and bank reconciliation statement. For that month. So these are the two things that you will need to to do the supplementary cash book and the bank reconciliation statement. The common things that you will find and which cause differences between the two are the following. You will find that there are transactions which only appear in the cash book. But when you look at the bank statement, you do not see them. They don't appear. Sometimes you also find that there are mistakes by the firm. Your mistakes. You will also find that there are transactions which only appear in the bank statement. But when you look at the cash book, these transactions do not appear. These transactions are not there. Obviously, obviously, there will be differences in balance. The balances will differ. They will differ because what you considered when recording the cash book, the bank did not consider. Or what the bank considered when generating the statement for the month, you did not consider. You recorded different things. There is bound to be a difference. Your balances are bound to be different. Because you were not doing exactly the same thing. And remember that your cash book should be a mirror of the bank statement. The cash book should actually reflect the position of the bank statement. But it is not always the case. It is not always the case. For example, a client makes a deposit today into your bank account somewhere around three. And before that time, the bank has already generated a bank statement and sent to you. And because at the time when the bank received that deposit, the bank statement was already generated and sent to you, that deposit will not appear in that statement. It will appear in the next month statement. And because of this, there is bound to be a difference in balance because you recorded that deposit. You received money from client, for example. You recorded it in your cash book. And by the time your messenger reaches the bank to deposit the money, you find that the bank has already generated a statement for the month that deposit will not appear in the bank statement for that month because the deposit was received 
when the bank statement was already issued to you. Sometimes you find that a client made an EFT payment. The payment went direct to the bank and you are waiting for the statement. Forget a bit that today we have internet banking. Forget a bit that we have internet banking. Let's say you rely on the bank statement sent to you by the bank. You will obviously not know that there is an electronic fund transfer made by your client to the bank until you receive the bank statement. And for that reason, that EFT will not be reflected in your cash book. And because of that, there is bound to be a difference of balance. There is bound to be a difference of balance. Once you identify these common mistakes, transactions appearing in or the common causes, transactions appearing in the bank statement but not appearing in the cash book, and transactions appearing in the cash book but not appearing in the bank statement, the practice errors, the bank errors, what do you do with this? What do you do with this? Please do the following. Know what to record in a supplementary cash book. In the supplementary cash book, you record two things. And what are those two things? What are those two things? The errors made in case book. Yes, practice errors. And also These are the mistakes the made by you. And what else? What is the second thing? The transactions on bank statement but not in cash book will Yes. Transactions appearing on bank statement, but not on cash book. Transactions appearing on bank statement, but not on cash book. In the bank reconciliation statement, you also record two things. What are those? What are those? Deposits made into Errors. the bank. Mistakes made by the bank. Yes, bank errors. And what else? Transaction appearing mm -hmm. on the cash book yeah. or not bank statement. Yes. Transactions on cash book, but not on bank statement. Let's discuss a bit about errors. I say there are two types of error. There are two types of error. There is an error that gives you money and an error that takes money away. If the error takes money out, you correct the error by bringing money back. So analyze every error.
If the error gives you money, you correct it by doing what? By taking money out. In other words, if you were debited erroneously, how do you correct? Okay. Correct by crediting. Okay. Yes, sir. If you were credited, Erroneously, how do you correct? I You correct by debiting. You correct by debiting. Please master these basic principles. Do not mis make a mistake of correcting a bank error on supplementary cash book. Also, do not make a mistake of correcting a practice mistake on bank record. A practice mistake is corrected on the supplementary cash book. A bank error is corrected on the bank reconciliation statement. Are we together? Yes. yes. Right. Right. Another thing we need to discuss is interest. There's interest you earn Excuse and me. interest you pay. This interest you earn, this is when you are dealing with a favorable balance. And then there is an interest you pay. This is when you deal with an unfavorable or overdrawn. May I add that interest you earn will mostly be in your trust account. Why trust? Because your trust account should never be on a deficit. And you can only earn interest if you have kept a positive balance. So interest you pay will mostly be found in the business account. Why business account? Business account may have an overdraft. And when it is overdrawn, the bank charges interest. So it is interest that you pay. How do you deal with this interest in your, in your books? And this will obviously be in the supplementary cash book because the bank will have this already recorded in the bank statement. With interest that you earn, you will do what? With 
interest that you earn, because it is money that comes to you, you will debit the trust cash book. Because it's money that you are receiving. It's money that you are getting. But what do you do with interest that you pay? You credit. Credit, you credit, credit. It. credit the cash book. Credit the cash book. And which cash book actually? Supplementary, not so. Yes. Credit the supplementary cash book. And with interest that you earn, you will debit the supplementary cash book. Lastly, how do you deal with favorable balances and unfavorable or overdrawn balances? To debit favorable balances and to credit yes. unfavorable oh. balances. Yes. Right, where you are dealing with a favorable balance or favorable account, you will always, always, always add outstanding. I agree with what you and put it there. Eh? Put what? Sure. You will always add outstanding deposits. Do you follow? So this favorable balance, it will be on trust account. Favorable balance will be will mostly be on trust account. And then you will less outstanding payments. And then with an unfavorable account, you will always do it. You will always less outstanding deposits and add outstanding payments. For example, you made a payment, you credited the cash book, but on the bank statement, this does not appear because of the reasons I gave earlier. It was on the last uh, day of the month. It reached the bank at a time when a statement was already generated. So it remains outstanding. So you will add it when you, um, I mean, you will less it. If it's an outstanding payment, you will less it when dealing with a favorable balance. And the reason you less it is because it reduces your balance at the bank. If the bank honors that payment, your bank balance will be reduced. But if it is a deposit that you are making into the account and the account is favorable, your balance at the bank will increase. And this is why we say you must add outstanding deposits. Any question? So on unfavorable account, you do the opposite of what you do in a favorable account. Um, actually, uh, before uh, we jump, I just wanted to take us back on 
what you refer to as uh, bank errors and uh, uh, practice error. So would you shed some light on that so that we know where we record what and what? You say errors. What's your question on the errors? Um, you, you stated that uh, bank errors must be corrected on. Um, on bank records. Yes, and the uh, uh, practice error will be uh, corrected on the supplementary cash book. So yes. now uh, we need to identify what exactly is bank errors and uh, what is the practice errors. OK, right. We will easily identify that by treating an exercise. It will be easy. Bank errors are mistakes made by the bank. For example, you, you make a deposit into the business account. The bank, instead of crediting your business account, credits the trust account. And you see this on the bank statement. Do you see that it is an error? But who yeah. made this error? Is it you? No, the bank. Who made this error? The, the bank. bank. Right. You receive a payment of 2,500. But when you record the payment in the trust cash book, you record it as 5,200. Is this not a mistake? Yes. Who it's made this mistake? It's me. Who it's made this practice. mistake? Is it you or is it the bank? It's me. It's you. It so is. it's a practice error. Where do you record this? Supplementary cash book. Supplementary cash book. Your own books. So the bank does not even know that you made a mistake. Can we go to page 48? Yes, sir. Yes. Right, let's go to for page 48 of our manuals. Page 48 of your manual. Let's deal with that question there. It's example five. Can I read? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your trust cash book balance as of 30 September 2020 reflected a favorable balance of 101,004. The favorable bank balance on the same date was 114 rand 310. 114,310, do you see? Yes. Do you see there are two there are two balances there? Yeah. Yes. What are the figures? So from the balances, it is clear that we must conduct an investigation. It is clear that we must do a bank reconciliation statement and supplementary cash book. Not so. Yes. Yes, sir. Now let's do that. Let's do that. Some people don't understand the word mute in this. So this is a Bonnie, so I kindly mute your mic. So this 
So this is a supplementary supplementary cash book for September 2020. This is a supplementary trust cash book for September 2020. So when you do a supplementary cash book, it is a supplementary cash book for that month. So you say supplementary trust cash book for September 2020. What else are we doing? Bank reconciliation. <laughs> Bank reconciliation statement. So with bank reconciliation statement, we will say bank reconciliation statement as at 30 September 2020. Bank reconciliation statement as at yes. 30 September 2020. Right. We are told that our balances are favorable. Haven't we been told? We have been told. Yes, we have. Yes. We have been told that our balances are favorable. And in respect of the trust cash book, the balance is 101004. On which side of the cash book do we record this balance? Debit side or credit side? Debit side. On the? Debit side. Debit side. If it is. If it is favorable and it means we have money, we record it on the debit side. What's the narration, sir? Balance. Balance. What? This is the balance. balance. Is it one zero zero four? If we had put this on the credit side, it would mean that we are dealing with an unfavorable balance. Do you follow? Yes, mm. prof yes. right. So on the same day, we got a balance for the bank statement. So we need to record the bank statement balance as well. It's 114310. Do we debit it or do we credit it? We credit it. We credit it with the bank statement we do the opposite of a cash book. Do you follow? Yes. Yes. A bank statement, we do the opposite of the cash book. So we credit this balance. Can I ask, sir? Yes. I sent a message yes. on our chat. I asked uh, regarding the, the negative balance. Yes. I asked if um, maybe we're given a statement which says the balance was negative, maybe on supplementary, and then we're given the date, but then the next statement of the bank reconciliation says that um, the balance was negative. So, with the first statement, it was not said, 
but the second statement was said. I asked if it is so, does that automatically mean that both balances are negative? Okay, but if a balance is negative, it will be stated that it is negative. And if it is positive, it will also be stated. But sometimes if you are simply given an amount and nothing special is said about that amount, you will assume that it is positive. In oh. bank records, it is possible to have your cash book balance being positive and the bank statement being overdrawn. It is highly possible. And it is highly possible because you may find that there are certain transactions which took place at the bank which were not recorded in the, in the cash book. And for as long as those transactions were not recorded in the cash book, your cash book will continue to show a positive balance. Thank you, sir. I got it. You're welcome. Right. A comparison of the cash book and bank statement for September 2020 reveals the following. So you compared the two and you found the following differences. Number one, interest of 7108 on the favorable balance has not been entered in the cash book. What type of interest is this? Is this interest you pay or interest you earn? Interest, interest you earn. earn. Where should, you be Where should it be recorded? On the David side. David on the supplementary. On the David side. Supplementary. Right. Then you'll say interest. How much? 7108. Right. Are we all happy with this? Yes. Two. Two. Listen to this. An erroneous EFT deposit into the trust banking account for 17218, which was recorded in your cash book, has been reversed by the bank. The reversal is not recorded in your cash book. What is this? What do we do with this? I think we should trade it. supplementary cash book. Why? Because it was reversed. Yes. It's a reversed EFT. Of how much? 17,218, right? 17,218, we credit. Can we go to three? A deposit of 3114 made on 30 September 2020 is not reflected on the bank statement. What is this? It's money in. <clears throat> it's money in. It's money in. It was not bank recorded. Re bank reconciliation. It's an outstanding it's deposit, not so. Yes. yes. Where must it go? Bank it's bank it's on the debit side. On the debit side. On the debit side. On the credit side. On the credit side. On the debit side of the bank reconciliation statement. The credit side. The credit side. On the credit side. The credit side. Oh. 3114. Credit side. Yes. 
an EFT payment for 2736 drawn on the business banking account has been incorrectly reflected on the trust banking account. What is this? It's a bank error. It's a bank error. It's a bank error. Where must the reconciliation go? statement? Bank reconciliation. Do we debit or do we credit? We debit. We credit. No, we, we debit. credit. We debit. We credit. No, we debit. We credit. No, we credit. We credit. No, Look, we this payment. We debit. This payment has taken money out yes. by mistake. So you correct the mistake by bringing money back, not so. Yes, that's by debiting. Which is crediting. In a bank statement, I said you do the opposite of what you do in a cash book. Yes. Oh. The bank statement is the opposite of the cash book when you make entries five the bank debited your trust banking account with trust bank charges of 734 what is this it's a bank error it's bank error, it's a bank error. yeah yeah remember yeah. that we said on monday that you must give the bank an instruction to charge the bank, uh, the business bank account with your trust account charges. Yes. So it's a bank error. It must be corrected on the Pretty. bank conciliation statement. So it is an error that took money away from us and we must bring the money back. An electronic transfer of 30,000 by a client has not been entered in the cash book. I think it's a practice error and needs to be entered in the supplementary cash book. But why do you call it an error? It's not an error. It's not an error. You are not aware of it. You were not aware of it. So now that you are aware, how do you deal with it? You debit it. Yeah. Yeah. Debit it you debit it because it's money that comes in, yeah. not so. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's an EFT. In a supplementary cash book. Yes. 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 Money that came in. Yes. Yeah. Is there something that we still need to do here? No, we need to add up. Must balance. We need to add up. Mm. Yes. How do we do that? Debit minus credit. Prof, just before, Prof. Yes. Yeah, before we add up, I, I, I need to know something. Uh, I'm looking at the, the format of the trust cash book and the bank reconciliation statement, and I see that there is no line dividing the two sides. So is it where first, you see the bank reconciliation statement? It doesn't have a line of divide between the oh. debit and the credit side. That's, yes. yes. Can I so, get a chance to raise the question? There's no danger there. Yeah. So I wanted to ask if it's fine if you 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 can also maybe use the, the 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 method we have been using of dividing. Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. You can if if that will work better for you. 
Prof, we need to correct your EFT. Your EFT? Yeah, you, you, you need to remove that digital five. Which one? Oh, uh, you removed it now. Oh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Right. Between the debit side and the credit side, which one has a higher value? Uh, debit. 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 Credit. How much? Hundred and thirty-eight thousand. Hundred and thirty-eight thousand as opposed to seventeen thousand. Yeah, but what is the total? Hundred and thirty-eight. Hundred and thirty-eight. Hundred and thirty-eight. Hundred and twelve. So debit. Like this. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Point zero zero minus the credit side seventeen thousand one hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred and ninety-four. That's correct. Right. So this is the balance you get here. Let's yes, go to the yes. bank record. What balance are we getting? One hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred and ninety-four. I'm one. Is it the same as the as the one in uh, David? Yes, Prof. Yes. Is it the same? Yes, sir. Balance. Sorry, sir. Can I please ask a question? Please do. Why are you um, crediting the balance carried down into the supplementary cash book? Why are we debiting? Why are you crediting the balance? OK, down? so that debit side may be equal to credit side. If you add this to this, what do you get? Oh, thank you. So I get it now. Right, so if you like, you can still say here, balance carried forward. Is this what you want? Carried forward or brought down? And then you write that same uh, figure. No, I just wanted to understand why did you put it on the credit side, but it's because it's... Okay. No, it is on the credit side because we are balancing but if you want it to be carried forward, that is when you will bring it on the debit side, but below here. Thank you. Welcome. Hello, Prof. Yes, sir. Can, can you say balance as per cash book? Yes, 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 yes. That is appropriate. Yes. You can welcome. say so, Tata. You're welcome, uh, Kokwan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And what is our balance here? 120. Yes, we'll only say that it is balanced package book if we are satisfied that it is indeed so, uh, or if it is the same. How much? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? 
Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 So what does this tell you? What does this tell you? It's a balance. That a bank reconciliation is in balance. Yes. And you agree with the bank statement um, with the adjustments. Yes. So your accounts are in order. You have reconciled the two books. That's correct. You've reconciled the two books. This is 50 so months. Right? Here you can say balance per cash book. Just to show that they are in agreement with each other. Right. This question is 50 marks, right, Prof? 13 and 15. <laughs> Bank Recon does not go that far. Um, can I perhaps ask a question or make a statement? In fact, this one specifically may give you about 10 marks. Uh, Prof? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I I what so happens or uh, how do we deal with um, monies which are deducted from the account due to fraudulent activities? Do we consider that as a bank error? Mm -hmm. No, it can't be a bank error. It will just be money that has disappeared. <laughs> because it, will, it would have not been due to a mistake by the bank. Here we, we consider the mistakes, actual mistakes by the bank. Not fraudulent activities, but for as long as there's a difference, you you need to do something in your books of account for as long as there are there are differences and um, you need to do something you may just not call it a bank error but you need to do something you need to do something sort of proof yes sort of proof yes sir Yes, which method can I use? Because now I see that the, the method that we are using is, is totally different from the one that I'm seeing here in the in the study guide. So according to you, which one is, is exactly the simplest between the two? Um, they all work. Which one? How, how is, it, is the one in the manual different? Is that the column? It's only the column. No, use this one. Use this one. Yeah, it's just the one as column. Mute yourself. Now use this one. But the one, the that one in the manual is also easier for you to understand. You can also use it. But I would prefer Perfect. that you use this one. Now you have you have answered me, uh, Prof. Thanks. Prof, whilst we're on that, can I perhaps um, pose the following statement that um, I want to believe that the School for Legal Practice, um, the papers that we are writing are being moderated. Yes. Yes, so uh, we wrote a test run this past weekend, and um, there are two distinct um, errors being made in the paper uh, compared to the memo that we received. We are we are candidate legal practitioners or, or legal practitioners in the coming. And once you make you you are sure that your account is correct, um, then you receive the memo because mm -hmm. my bank reconciliation mm -hmm. was 300 rand or 300. And then I see on the memo they changed the bank balance, bank statement balance in order for their memo to agree with what um, in order for their memo for the bank recall to agree with the um, cash book. It's these type of things that we as students at the end of the day, once you get first question and you don't balance, then that will have an impact on your further jobs that you'll have to do in that paper. 
So uh, my, my humble request is, uh, uh, Prof, that they have to ensure that the paper that they are giving us in order to write are being moderated and um, based on those, uh, what I've said. Yes. Yes. Because it, it, it will, as a, a person that don't, don't know how the accounting works, you've got debit credits and you've got journals and all those type of things, for that person, once they make, and, and, and in, in fact, they're not making a mistake. They are doing the bank reconciliation and all of a sudden the bank reconciliation does, doesn't uh, agree. Then, you'll have, then, then it will have a ripple effect on all the other uh, questions that you'll have to answer. Thank you, Prof. Yes. Yeah. You are welcome. Right, can we now deal with an unfavorable balance? Prof, can I please ask the question? Yes. If um, money was deposited in the account or, or, or money was recorded, like a figure one, one, two, three, three instead of one, two, two, when you rectify it in your bank reconciliation statement, do you write the difference or how do you rectify that? Like a wrong figure instead of one, two, two, and they record it as one, two, three. Three, two, or one, right. two, twelve. My my advice to you is that please, in that type of an error, reverse the whole incorrect amount and record the full correct amount. Okay. And I have a reason for this. Over the years, this is the mistake I see candidates making when, um, when we mark your scripts. We find that you were able to determine the difference correctly. But the problem is, Instead of debiting that difference, you credit it. Sometimes instead of crediting that difference, you debit it. Let us say, instead of one, two, two, three, you recorded one, three, two, two. And this is money that you received. You received one, one, two, three, three. But when you debited the cash book, you debited one, three, three, two. Please credit the whole one, three, three, two and debit the correct amount afresh. Because the method of determining the difference works for some. But for others, it does not work. For others, it becomes confusing. They debit instead of crediting. Sometimes they credit instead of debiting. So my advice to you is reverse the whole incorrect amount and record the correct amount afresh. Thank you. Please. Does this assist? Yes, thank you. Sorry, sir, I didn't get the part where which one do we credit and which one do we debit? Where? Um, the correct amount, do we debit it or do we credit it? I did not get the, that part. No, no, it, it depends on the nature of the mistake. Maybe you also did not hear the question. I did, I did hear. I did hear the question say we also had it on the test run Saturday. Yes. Okay. Yes. I said I say in answering when they say wrong figure reflected, don't even try to determine the difference because it confuses many of you. Don't deal with the difference uh, style. No. Simply reverse the whole amount. If that incorrect figure was debited, you credit it in its entirety. 
and then debit the correct figure. If the wrong figure was credited, debit it and then credit the correct figure. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Because the problem with determining the difference is that many of you do not know how to deal with that difference. I see many of you debiting the difference instead of crediting it. Some will credit it instead of debiting it. So the correct way or the easiest way of dealing with this is to reverse that whole wrong amount and record the correct amount properly. All right, can we deal with this uh, unfavorable balance? And remember we said we do the, the opposite of what we do in a favorable balance. The business cash book of ABC attorneys reflects an overdraft balance of 55,747 as of 30 June 2020. The bank statement at the same date was 53,976 overdrawn. Do you see there's a difference in balance here? Yes. Do you see <coughs> which page are we? Which page, which page are we? Yes, which page are we? 46. Page 46. Oh, okay. I will see. I will see. So it means we must do what? We must do a bank record, not so. So we'll have a supplementary business cash book. Supplementary business cash book for which month? For June 2020. Okay. Yes. And do you see that with a supplementary cash book, we say it's for that month? Do you see that? Yes. yes. Whereas with the bank recon, what do we say? As at. As at. As, 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 at. as yeah. at June 2020. As at 30 June 2020. Uh, so will you kindly close your document recovery on your word? Sir, in an unfavorable yes. balance, we use a supplementary business cash book. In a favorable yes. balance, it's a business trust cash book. It's a trust cash supplementary book. Supplementary yes. trust, yeah. Yes, but the question will also tell. Yeah. Like in our case here, we are told that it's a business cash book. Do you see? Okay, yes. I see. I yes. see, sir. And what are our balances? 55747 for the business cash book. And we are told it's overdrawn. On which side do we record this? Credit side. Credit, Credit, Credit side. Credit side. Credit side. Balance. How much? 55,647. 
And for the bank uh, statement, how 53. much was the balance? 53,976. 53,976. Debit. A comparison of the bank statement and the cash book reveals that. And perhaps before we we, we, we do this. Ne? Let me deal with the concern that was raised by one of you of instances where you get mistakes in bank recons in respect of the balancings uh, given. My advice to you is simply follow the principle that we gave you. <coughs> follow the principle that we gave you and you will see that when it does not balance, it is not because you did not do it correctly, but it is because you were given wrong figures by a mistake. But for as long as you have recorded in accordance with how you were taught, in accordance with what the principles say, you will get marks for that you will get marks for that. You will be compensated for that mistake. All right, a comparison of the bank statement and the cash book reveals that one, overdraft interest of 928 has not been recorded in the cash book. What type of interest is this? It's taking money away. Yes. Is it interest you pay or interest you earn? Interest you pay. Do we debit or credit this interest? Credit. 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 Supplementary business cash book. Yes. How much? Uh, uh. Number two. Trust and business account bank charges of 558 and 394 respectively have not been recorded in the cash book. What is this? It's a debit. It's a Taking money away also. Where do we go? We go to the account. account. Yes, because the business this, account. these appear only on the bank statement, yes. but not in the cash book. Do you follow? Yes. yes. The notice in bank, there. bank charges. Okay. Trust. For trust is how much? Five hundred and fifty-eight. Charges. For business. Three hundred and ninety-four. The five five eight. We credit or debit. We credit. We credit. We credit. We're being going charged away. by the bank. We're, We're being charged away. by the bank. Money is going mm -hmm. out. Thank you. Right. Three. A deposit of four eight nine four is not reflected on the bank statement. So we could what is this? This is income money coming in. That was. It's a bank error. Oh. Is it a bank error bank. or an outstanding deposit? Deposit. Outstanding deposit. It's an outstanding deposit. Outstanding deposit. It's an ERP payment. Where can I report this? On the debit side. Bank we can. On the credit side. Credit side. No, on the supplementary cash book. Credit entry. On the credit side. Narration. Supplementary debit. Outstanding and credit. It's credit. Because we do the opposite of what oh, we do yes. on the cash. Oh, yes, correct. Four. It's an EFT an payment. EFT, an EFT payment for 1443 in payment of a client's account 
appears on the bank statement but is not shown in the cash book. So we debit. The supplementary. On debit. Is this money we are receiving or money we are paying? Money. It's receiving. money we are receiving. Money we are receiving. How much? 1,143. Yes. Narration? EFT. EFT payment. Yes. Yes. Five. A stop order. A stop order of 477. Earlier received from a client has been reversed by the bank. Supplementary, Supplementary credit. Supplementary credit. <coughs> credit. credit. Stop order payment. What do we say? Stop order returned by bank. Reverse order stop reversed. order. Stop order mm. reversed. Yes. How much? 177. Credit. Yes. Six. Insurance and motor lease stop orders of 54 rand and 1713 respectively have not been entered in the cash book. Ah, you are really overdrawn. Yes, sir. <laughs> Supplementary <laughs> cash book credit. <laughs> you are seriously Money. overdrawn. Money going away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Debit <laughs> <laughs> or credit? Credit. 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 And how much is the insurance? One thousand fifty-four rand. Fifty-four. Oh, fifty-four yes. And the motor lease. One thousand seven hundred and eighteen. One seven one three. Seven a deposit of nine three four six made to the trust banking account has been incorrectly reflected on the bank statement. This is a bank, bank error. error. Bank error. It's a bank, bank error. error. Why? Why do you call it a bank error? Because it was, because it was incorrectly, incorrectly reflected. reflected. We call it a bank error because it was supposed to be in the trust account, in the trust case book. It's a bank deposit. It's the bank made the error. Yeah, but why is it a bank error? They incorrectly reflected. Because it's been it's incorrectly reflected on correct. the bank statement. The data used the wrong account. The data and, used uh, uh, trust banking details instead of the uh, business banking mm -hmm. details. Right. We are dealing with a business cash book. We are dealing with our business account. But we are told about a trust transaction. This yeah. deposit of 9346 was actually we made to the trust banking account. But we find it mistakenly appearing on the bank statement. So it's a mistake by the bank. So it must be reversed. How do we reverse this? We have to give it to on the bank account. The bank account. We must debit it. 
because this mistake reduced our debt to the bank, not so. Yes. So now we must correct the position by increasing our debt to the bank. Can we get our totals? So before we get our totals, I just want to find out something. Um, in terms of standards of doing the reconciliation as well as the supplementary education. My understanding is that that 9,346 rent, if it were to be in a supplementary education, it would have been debited. But then when going to the bank reconciliation statement, should it not be credited? Because it is a deposit. Yeah, but if you were to correct it in the trust cash book, how would you deal with it in the cash book? Wouldn't you credit? Because they say it's a mistake. It was debited by mistake. Okay. Do you follow, sir? Yeah, no, I, I understand. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I think it's the wording on the question. No, there's, there's nothing wrong with the wedding here. The wedding is clear. You are talking about the wedding on number seven. Yes, so now I see. If you're saying that it was deposited, so it means that... Um... The language is clear. It says it's a deposit of 9347 made to the trust banking account. But what happened to it? It found its way in the bank statement. And which bank statement are we dealing with? The business, the bank, business statement. bank statement. So the, the instruction is clear. Can we get our totals? Fifty-nine thousand eight hundred and seventy-one. How much? Fifty-nine thousand eight hundred and seventy-one. Sixty-three thousand three hundred and twenty-two. Hmm? <laughs> Sixty-three. Okay. Let's start with the bank statement. What are you saying? Okay, fine. Let's start with the, with the supplementary cash book. Fine. 59,871. Okay, let's start with the total of the credit side. 59,871. Is this a total that everybody gets? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, Yes. We concur. Oh. We concur with her. It's getting fifty-nine. Eight seventy-one. Eight seventy-one. Nine eight seventy-one. It ends here. Yes. And then no. minus the debit side. Fifty-eight thousand four hundred. Fifty-eight thousand four hundred twenty-eight. Eight thousand. So, in other words, your balance is fifty nine thousand. No, 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 no. Minus the debit side. How much do you get? Fifty eight thousand. Fifty eight thousand. Fifty eight thousand. 
28,428. Like this? Yes. Right. And then on the bank statement, what do you get? What is the total of the debit side here? Wait. 63,322. 63,322. 63, yes. Like this? Yes. Yes. Right. Minus the credit side. 58,428. 50? 58,428. Yes, sir. All right. Then we can say here balance per cash book. Yes. All right. So we are fine. According to the books, yes. Yeah. According to the books, yes. <laughs> this would have given you thirteen months. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try my best to send you the work we have done, eh? Please, Prof. I'm going to try my best to send you the work we have done from Monday. Everything that we have done together from Monday so that you are able to, to practice and to refer. Are you good? I Prof, are you going to send to all of us or are you going yes, to send? Yes. Hello? Prof, yes. Are you going to send to all of us, like all our emails? No, somebody gave me an email uh, on Monday or Tuesday. I think yeah. I still have it. I'll send it. Is that Mashangu? Why not to Zuki? Yes, uh, Prof. Prof. Fine. It's fine. I can send it. Okay, can I just, I'm yes, sorry, guys. Can I please, please send to Mashangu? I gave you. Yes. That's fine. Doesn't have send to me, around, guys. Huh? Wait, can I please? Whoever. Can I please? Why not Zuki? Can I? It's fine. I'll it? send to Zuki and copy my channels. Yes, Thank but you. can I just ask, yes, fellow yes, students? Yes, fellow but students. We know we'll get it from my well. Fellow students, can I please just ask, is everyone in the group? Which group? Oh, uh, just oh, the PLT the group. The PLT oh. group. Oh. I, I thought you wanted the this is, work as soon as possible. <laughs> yes. No, uh, it the thing is, we don't know if everybody's here, and we don't know the person that's going to receive the email. So it's best that they send it through the school. Yes, yes. I'll do so. No, but, okay. no, but guys, so is not is not there I will also share on the so group so when I receive yes, it. Yes, we know that there time. might be people that's it's not fine. on the group. And there might be people that's not on this call. No, but it would be safe to just so that 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 to send to Matam. Give Matam a chance also. She, she, she did suggest it. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, Prof can send to Zuki and Sisi Matango. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And then Matango oh, will put you. on the group. Those who are not yes. on the group, they will say, we are not on the group. Please, next door, whatever, send then Zuki will also but, share with you. Not yeah, but those yes. who are those yeah, who are do. waiting for Zuki, they'll only get it maybe Monday. <laughs> or or, or Wednesday. Besides, we can communicate even those who are not uh, 